Dan, thanks a lot. Throughout the first couple of weeks of school, we've already seen some issues with behavior in Aiken and Burke County schools. Last week, Aiken High went on lockdown after a big fight broke out. At Burke County High, several fights broke out in just the first week. Edgefield County has not had those problems, but Audrey Dickerber shows us how they're trying to get ahead of those problems early. It's a way to help students. It gives us the ability to meet their needs, to know exactly what our kids need. An effort to help improve students' learning and get ahead of issues before they happen. Teenagers are teenagers. And so the ability to give them the skills that they need to be successful in the classroom, to be successful with the students sitting next to them. If they do take the survey, the school says it'll be put to good use. We'll first be building out a curriculum K through 12 using that data, but then it will also allow counselors to drill down and figure out, hey, I've got this group of 10 kids that really need support in this area. Let me pull them in a small group and work on that with them. Um, it will allow principals to be able to see school wide, we, we need to do some stuff on decision making or school wide, we need to talk about how you resolve conflicts with others. With the goal to have more students prepared for the real world. Employers are, are constantly stating, I can't keep an employee or I can't get the employee to come to work on time or they don't know how to col um, collaborate with each other. And so that's what we're teaching. Even some created by the pandemic. And during that time, they've lost some of those skills that we need. Some of them never had an opportunity to build those skills because they weren't in a classroom um, with other students. In Edgefield County, Audrey Dick Herbert on your side.